Well, I got a new camera, and uh, it's a third camera, and uh, it's a tiny little thing. Let me show you. This is it right here. It's called the Onreal, O-N-R-E-A-L, and uh, you can see videos on this camera all over the YouTube. Now, this is a box it comes in, and... Uh, It didn't take long to get it either. Uh, it's got several back, well, it comes with instructions. I'm not into opening boxes and showing all the instructions and everything. I did get an SD card, a uh, micro card. Anyway, it comes with a magnetic mount, which I've already got on. I'm not going to try to take it off. It's got a sticky back mount. It's got a I don't know, all of, uh, I don't know what that is. Now yeah, it's another mount. <laughs> I'm probably not the best person to do this. Um, it comes with a clip mount, which I could have used, and I'm going to show you why I'm not going to use that. Uh, it comes with all that stuff. It comes in a really nice box. I took the instructions and scanned them in my computer and then printed them out because, you know, the instructions are always so small, you, I have a hard time reading them, especially now with one eye going and uh, the other one not all that strong. And so I printed out all the instructions of, of how to use it. I tried to figure out how to pair it up with my, uh, my cell phone. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. Uh, I probably will. Um, this is what the camera looks like. It's a real small camera. I, it barely weighs anything. Um, a long time ago, they gave us name tags with magnets that would attach it to your shirt or your jacket so you wouldn't have to poke holes in your, your good shirts. And I thought, why not get something to magnetically mount the camera on? Because this one I want to have close enough to what I'm working on and on my body and uh, so that you can get a third view one that is from my view point of view uh, which might give you a little more information about how I'm sculpting and stuff like that so I went to the hardware store store and got a uh, a uh, what do they call these well, anyway, I got one of these things uh, that you, you get them, you put a screw in and it's supposed to, well, I don't know what they call this. I can't think what it's called right now. Anyway, it's steel and uh, it will stick to it. And I thought, why not take that and put it on my shirt? The tape you can get at a hardware store too. And I'm just going to cut a small section. I don't get stuck to the tape here. This way I will always know where the up is. It's not affecting the uh, lens or the lights or anything else. There, uh, there's a light that shows you how much power you got and, and one that shows uh, your camera's working and all that stuff. It's all in, in the instructions. Now I got all the cameras working and I want to sync the camera, so what I'll do is I'll tap three times and then I just line up those three things in the sound on all three videos and uh, the videos should be tuned in to each other so that uh, whatever I'm doing will be synced with each camera. And uh, so I'm going to get to work on my clay here a little bit. I uh, will come back and, and work on this later. I just wanted to put this video together to show you and also to see if it actually works because <laughs> I can't see what I'm shooting right now. So what I do is I take this uh, metal disc that, or this washer that's what it's called. I couldn't think of it. I don't know why. And I put it in my shirt and I just 
put this on my shirt and I, as I found out after I, I uh, videoed uh, my first, for the first time with this in this position, uh, I was looking too high up. So I'm going to just, uh, I don't know what exactly I can do to make it e even better, but uh, I have to figure that out. Uh, anyway, it's not what I quite thought it was going to be. It's good video. And there's got to be lots of uses I can use this for, but right now, I don't think I'm going to use it on my shirt uh, because it's looking up instead of uh, uh, straight ahead. Maybe I can somehow attach it to my hat. I just got to. Well, since it's a washer, I thought I'd try to run a small screw into the. Uh rim of the hat and attach the washer to the brim of the hat or the whatever they call that thing and uh, I placed the uh, camera on that and let's go see how it does for uh, working on a clay okay I'm just uh, trying this out I can't I don't know what it looks like uh, and certainly you can hear the sound is not the best, but uh, I'll live with it for now. I, I don't know. Let's try it out and see what it looks like. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.